Hey everyone, I'm Pierre. Welcome to Pureology. Today I'm going to be doing a face-off between the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X and the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X3D. So recently, PC hardware prices have been dropping and availability has been rising, but also the next generation of CPUs and GPUs are right around the corner. So a lot of people have been asking me whether or not it's worth upgrading certain components right now. Today, I'm gonna to be focusing on the CPU. For those of you who want the quick summary, the 5800X3D demolishes the 5600X in terms of gaming performance in Escape from Tarkov and any other CPU dependent game. It does all this at a reasonable price and in a lot of cases will not require a motherboard or RAM upgrade in order to gain maximum benefit. If you're on a 5600X and you're looking to upgrade but you're not sure what to do right now because new products are right around the corner even though prices are pretty good, I think the 5800X3D is a solid buy even with new hardware around the corner. So the 5800X3D wins in terms of performance over the 5600X, but there's still the question of whether or not it's worth it to buy it right now with Zen 4 right around the corner and Raptor Lake as well. In my opinion, looking at all the leaks and information that's available right now, I think that the new generation of CPUs will beat the X3D in performance by about 10 to 15 percent but it will come at a really high premium compared to the cost of the X3D. In my opinion the X3D will remain in the top tier of gaming CPUs but will be the best value in that tier. To me that makes it future proof and I would not hesitate to buy it right now even with next gen right around the corner. The 5600X is a 6-core, 12-thread CPU. It was launched in November of 2020 at $299. It's available today for around $199. The base frequency is 3.7. The boost clock goes up to 4.6 from factory. The 5800X3D is an 8-core, 16-thread CPU. It was launched in April of 2022 at $449. It's available at the same price today. The base frequency is 3.4 gigahertz and the boost clock goes up to 4.5. 5600X has a 32 megabyte L3 cache, while the 5800X3D boasts a 96 megabyte L3 cache. The base clocks are a little bit higher on the 5600X, but the L3 cache is three times the size on the X3D. As you'll see from the comparison ahead, the difference in L3 cache makes a larger impact than the small difference in clock frequencies. The reason I think the 5800X3D is such a good value is because right now it's literally the best gaming CPU available and is also a good value buy. Normally those two things are mutually exclusive and with the 5800X3D, you get the best of both worlds. You get the very best gaming CPU available today, but you get it at a good price, instead of it being exorbitantly expensive like top gaming hardware usually is.
Comparing the numbers, the X3D came in at 168 for the FPS average while the 5600X was at 98, a 70% increase for the X3D. In terms of the FPS max, the X3D hit 240 while the 5600X hit 167, a 43% increase for the X3D. In terms of FPS minimums, the X3D hit 118 while the 5600X hit 55, a 115% increase for the X3D. For frame times, the X3D was at 6.5 milliseconds, while the 5600X was around 9 milliseconds. That's a 28% decrease in frame time for the X3D. Taking a look at the CPU and GPU, in terms of power, the 5800X3D was drawing 60 watts while the 5600X was at 87. So that's a 31% decrease for the X3D in power used. The temps were actually equal at 58 degrees Celsius. In terms of GPU power, on the X3D the GPU was drawing more power indicating that it was indicating that the bottleneck was no longer on the CPU and allowing the GPU to kind of stretch its legs there. So there was a 21% increase in power draw on the GPU for the X3D over the 5600X. For GPU temperatures, the 3070 Ti was operating around 57 degrees on the X3D and around 50 for the 5600X. The last advantage I want to point out for the X3D is that the V-Core was at 1.17 volts over 1.35 volts for the 5600X. That's a 13% difference in power. Well, I hope this comparison was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and thanks for watching.